Hello, this is Sage the Balloon Sage, and with the release of the incredibly popular new Pokemon Go mobile game, my favorite childhood franchise is now being enjoyed by more people than ever before. My new Pokemon Balloon Bracelet looks exactly like the iconic red and white Pokeball, made famous in the video games over the last two decades for capturing the mythical monsters. All you need are a few size 260 twisting balloons. Red and white for the ball, two onyx black for the trim, and a final black 260 works as the wristband. Begin with the red and white. Inflated halfway, nice and soft, and knotted at the nozzles. We want to make eight soft, identical petal shapes that look like this, all the same size. And to do that, you can squish it while you're forming it. So here's the second one. We fold over, kind of squish the petal a little bit to control the airflow. Make sure it's the same size, nice and soft, so that when it's compressed, it will create more of a sphere shape. Here's the third petal, nice and soft, squeezing, twisting, lining it up, that looks about right. It's hard to get it exactly perfect, but as long as it's pretty close. And let's do a fourth. We want to get the red balloon out of the way right away. So here's our fourth petal. We'll tie this through. And whenever we're done with the balloon, we're going to tie it right through the center. So the red going. And we're going to break off. Turn that line. And uh, friction will sustain the balloon. And it will not start to be full. As long as you twist it in enough. So we've got the four petals here. Onto the white petals. So here. Now it gets a little tricky and a little crowded as we try to uh, maneuver around, but just make a cloth. Don't put it into its flower shape quite yet. Just want to make sure all the petals are done first. Now, let's take the seventh petal, kind of hard to see. Right now. And one more in our big clump here. Number four. So again, squeeze, make sure there's a lot of extra room. We're we'll twisting it in. Make sure the petal's not too fat because you don't want it too wide. And let's tie this through the center. We're not breaking this off as we make our eight. Let's position into half red and half white. this the front of our pokeball and we want a nice really spherical center in order to do that squeeze as much as you can really squeeze to a shape about like that so when you spin it it's like a pinch twist except round same idea or a pedal twist spin it around. this will make the center we're going to come around so this will be coming out the back okay you're going to have to Adjust maybe once or twice here with the petals. Red has white. This is coming in the back. We're going to create two stabilization pinch twists. That will compress this flower shape so it doesn't come undone on the wrist. And we're going to do that. Again, these long, squishy bubble shapes. Make these flat instead, as flat as you can. There's one. There are alternative construction methods, but this is the way I like to make it. And let's make a second one. Number back there. Pinch it. And to finish this off, break off. There. And just tie this through the center. Spread the petals so you don't pop them. Around the center. Back through and around these pinch holes. The lining and the bracelet band itself will also be tied in here. So this is has many purposes. So we'll just push them in, position everything, and that's the main shape. Let's turn this Pokeball into a bracelet. We take a Onyx Black 260, and you'll notice that it's a little bit flat. We want to make it cylindrical so that it doesn't get twisted up on the wrist. And a little puff of air will do. Just to the level before it starts to inflate, and a knot is tied. This will keep the air trapped inside. So, the two back pinch twists, we utilize those for tying everything in, trim included, and just wind that around. Perfect. 
either measure the wrist or estimate. And at that point, you're going to make another knot so that when you tie off this extra right here, this will stay inflated. Very important. So I'll get rid of the scissors and we'll cut this off. And just tie it right back into there, spreading the petals so that you don't accidentally cut. And then we'll wrap it around to the center sphere a bit. Now, on to the trim. Repeat these same exact steps with a second Onyx 260. A little inflation, tying the knot. Only this time, we tie the knot at the tail. Just like this. Okay, and each end, actually, you know what? Here's an even easier way to do it. Just tie those ends together. And what we'll do is, it's just like the bracelet band, and we'll just slip it directly in as a band. Between the two pin twists in the back, kind of twist it around a little bit so it's nice and in there. And we'll pull it over, dividing the red and white with the black line. This really adds a pop of color. Situate it, sticking it behind the center sphere with one final Onyx 260, a little bit of cylindrification, if you will, and a knot. We're gonna measure out about eight fingers or so, and it will depend on how big your center sphere is, but with practice, you'll get used to doing it the same every time. And a pair of scissors solves our extra balloon problem. We tie these two ends together, making the ring. And the trick here is to kind of hide the knot, so you wanna trim the ends, you wanna make the knot as small as possible and that way it blends right in with the rest of the trim. Right over the center sphere, keeping it cylindrical, circular, and camouflaging the knot into that horizontal black line. Looks great. Now I'm gonna pop it on my wrist. And there it is, the Pokeball balloon bracelet. I want to thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. If you like what you see here, you're going to love all my other balloon bracelets. And you can check out the links in the description below. I've got a ton of stuff on the way. So please subscribe, please like this video, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.